Welcome to Asim Nyan Vahini. The acronym for Asim A S E E M Atmanirbhar Science Education Enrichment Maha Vahini. Asim Nyan means unlimited knowledge. Asim is for empowerment of educating skills. Asim is for organization of science quiz contest. Asim for science education short film festivals. Asim for reviews on various famous science exhibition. Asim for talk shows on science related topics for great meet with famous scientists. And a theme for webinars and lecture series. The ultimate objective of a theme Nyan Vahini is science popularization and science propagation. Hello friends, I am Suchita Nautiyar from Yashodham High School and Junior College. I am very happy to inform you that my short science film on the topic construction and working of galvanic cell has been shortlisted for final round of Nav Nirman Science Education Short Film Festival 2020. I am presenting the same film here and requesting you all to watch it till the end. Hello everyone. Goenka and Associates Educational Trust presents this short science movie. I, Suchita Nautial from Yashodham High School and Junior College, present this short science movie for the competition Nav Nirman Science Education Short Film Festival 2020. The topic of galvanic cell is selected here as it is widely covered in science syllabi of standard 8, 9 and 10 and chemistry syllabi of standard 11 and 12. It is also studied in physics subject from standard 9 to 12 across all the national and international boards. Galvanic cell is also known as a voltaic cell after the name of the scientist Luigi Galvani or Alessandro Volta. It is an electrochemical cell that converts chemical energy of a spontaneous redox reaction taking place within the cell into electrical energy. Each galvanic cell is made up of two half cells. Let's study these half cells in detail now. This is a vessel which contains copper electrode which is made of copper atoms. This electrode is dipped in an electrolyte which contains an aqueous solution of metal ion. As the electrode is made up of copper, this electrolyte is a solution of water-soluble salt of copper that is copper sulphate. This is a half cell having copper as an electrode and copper sulphate as an electrolyte. Here we see another half cell which contains zinc as electrode and zinc sulphate as an electrolyte. So this is zinc electrode made of zinc atoms dipped in an electrolyte containing zinc plus two ions that is zinc sulphate solution. A galvanic cell is the arrangement of two half cells in which zinc sulphate and copper sulphate solutions are filled. Copper rod is dipped in copper sulphate solution and zinc rod is dipped in zinc sulphate solution. These metallic rods are known as electrodes. Electrodes are connected to a meter by means of insulated wire through a switch key. A meter is used to know the passage and the amount of current flowing through the circuit. Solutions in the two beakers are connected through an inverted U-tube. This tube is known as a salt bridge. It contains saturated solution of strong electrolytes like potassium chloride, potassium nitrate, etc. in agar-agar gel. The function of this salt bridge is to complete the circuit and to maintain electrical neutrality in the electrolytes. Now when the circuit is completed by inserting the key in the switch key, it is observed that current starts flowing through the external circuit which is indicated by the ammeter. And 
the zinc rod gradually loses its weight as zinc atoms oxidize into Zn plus 2 ions and lose two electrons. These two electrons from external circuit move from anode to cathode through a meter. The flow of these electrons constitutes electric current. Copper ions gain two electrons and reduce to copper atoms and these copper atoms deposit on copper cathode and hence the size of copper cathode keeps on increasing. By convention, the direction of flow of current is opposite to the direction of electron flow. As you can see in the diagram students, electrons are flowing from anode to cathode and the current flow in the form of arrows you can see is from positive electrode that is copper cathode to negative electrode that is zinc anode. Dear students, a galvanic cell is represented by a formula or short notation that includes electrodes, aqueous solutions and salt bridge. The metal electrodes are denoted by a vertical line placed at the end of the formula. Anode minus is written at the extreme left and cathode plus at the extreme right. And aqueous solutions of ions are placed at the middle of the electrodes with their concentration. A single vertical line placed between two phases shows phase boundary. A double vertical line shows that two solutions are connected by a salt bridge. This is the cell notation for a galvanic cell. Now chemical reactions that take place at a galvanic cell are at cathode copper plus two ions reduce they gain two electrons and reduce to copper solid whereas at anode zinc solid loses two electrons and oxidizes to zinc plus two ions. So reduction takes place at cathode and oxidation occurs at anode and the overall reaction taking place at a galvanic cell is the sum of these two reactions. Students, standard cell potential E0 is the potential of the cell given under standard conditions of temperature and pressure that can be calculated by the formula E0 cell is equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. You can get the values of E0 for copper and E0 for zinc from EMF series. Therefore, E0 cell is equal to 0.337 minus of minus 0.763 volt, which is equal to 1.10 volt. Under standard conditions, E0 cell for galvanic cell is equal to 1.10 volt. Dear students, please note that if E0 cell is greater than 0 or it has positive value, then the cell is going to act as a galvanic cell and it is going to produce electric current. But if this value is negative or less than zero, then it is going to act as electrolytic cell in which it is going to use electric current for the chemical reaction to take place. For a memory A, keep in mind the alphabetical order of first letter of A of anode comes before C of cathode. To remember, you can use the phrase an ox where an comes from anode and ox comes from oxidation. So oxidation at anode and red cat for reduction at cathode. An N of negative comes before P of positive. So anode is negative and cathode is positive. Dear students, enjoy learning about galvanic cell. Thank you. Hello friends, this is my small contribution towards science popularization. Please like, share and subscribe my short science film. Your likes will play an important role in making me a winner of this glorious short science film festival 2020. Thank you.